Okay, we are on uh, the penrod roof. We're going to attempt to pull out a shingle um, so that we can send it into ITEL or NTS and get uh, to find out if this shingle is, a, is available. So we need to separate the seal on this. We hopefully we don't get any material transfer um, and I'm being very careful. Okay, we did get some material transfer right there. You can see it right here. And then a little bit on this side too over here. So a few spots on that. That's, that's one tab. We gotta pull from here, one, two, three, over to here. <clears throat> so let's get this thing going. Oh, this one's coming off much nicer. Not too bad on that one, but it's still a fail because we had some material transfer and this one wasn't so bad either. So here's one nail course. The next nail course is up here. So we have to break two of these free. Let's see. Uh, a little bit of material transfer right there. You can see the backside of the shingle right here. It got, uh, you can see the fiberglass, it's torn open. All right, you can see the material transfer right there. Okay, and that one came up pretty easy. There is some material transfer again, right here, and then on the end. Uh, all right, so let's start pulling nails. <clears throat> if any of these nails pop through, this is a failed repair attempt. And this one is already kind of bad. Um, we're not allowed to use the same nail holes without using uh, caulk, and caulk is not a permanent repair. Um, caulk is not considered a permanent repair. I'm trying to pull real lightly on this thing, but I can feel the material transfer. You can see it right here. It's actually pretty bad right there. Okay. All right, let's find the next one. <clears throat> I'm pulling on this one and it is not wanting to come up. Yeah, this one's gonna tear pretty bad on us. Okay. Roofers, crews do not work this, this carefully. They wanna get in and out. They show up early, they get trying to get the job done. There's some pretty severe material transfer. Um, the reason why I say that is because no roofer, no crew is gonna sit there and work this slowly. Um, that's just not how they work. Okay, here we go. The last tab on this shingle. That actually popped up kind of nice and easy, but do we have material transfer? Uh, let me see. Not so bad on that one. And we got one more nail. Okay, so we got some material transfer. Have one more nail course to pull up. Um, let's see, how are these nails popping through? They're not, pretty good. This nail has already popped through. You can see right here, I haven't touched this side and it's already popped through. So, can't get it through that hole. Boom. So that hole is too big. Let's wall it out. Same with this one. It's a pop through on that hole. Okay. And then one more nail up top and it also popped through. So we have uh, material transfer and pull throughs on the nails. I'm gonna send that shingle in for a uh, See material transfer there, that's old. Uh, this one is new. There, there. We have a nail pop through there and there. Um, yeah, this is a, a fail of a repair. We're gonna put in a temporary shingle 
that uh, will stop uh, just for just for mitigation, temporary mitigation right here. And that's all. Okay, we are on the back slope. This is the slope that the adjuster proposes we use, and I want to see if uh, these shingles have the same uh, material transfer. Okay, so we did get some material transfer right there. And it's down there, you can see it right here. And that one was already lifted. So, I mean, I'm saying the, the front, the leading edge on this one was already lifted. Just like, just like that one. So we're gonna go down three tabs over and see if we can't get this thing to lift up without having material transfer. Uh, to see if this idea of the adjusters is even feasible. Um, if we can get all these off without having any damage, it's a feasible idea. Okay, there's more material transfer. You can see that there, there, there. One, two, three, really obvious spots. Let's go one more tab so we have a full shingle on the back face of this roof. And this edge is already getting some material transfer. The adjuster did not allow me on the roof when we did the adjustment. And so I wasn't able to ask about this. I had to sit on the ground. Okay, very carefully. And we have a uh, pretty bad material transfer. One, two, three, four spots. So I would say that's a fail. One shingle. And uh, we have a lot of material transfer. I don't think a repair is possible on this. I don't think reusing these is possible simply for that reason. There's also other code qualifications that this is not going to uh, reach. So, thanks.